morning guys it's my uh, Starcade 1990 review sorry about the delay of reviews uh, nothing I haven't been reviewing lately I'm sorry about that it's just I want a little break you know uh, you may notice I'm wearing the same shirt the Alabama college basketball shirt it's because uh, I didn't take a shower. I woke up at like 2 and I watched the rest of this for you guys so I can read that as fast as I could. And let me say for the record, this was the worst pay-per-view I have ever seen in my entire life. Don't watch this. This was fucking atrocious. This is the first pay-per-view ever where the final rating was a one point something. This was awful. I really didn't enjoy any match on this card besides two, maybe. The fact I hated it, basically, six eighths of this pay per view. No, 12 fourteenths, no, like 10 fourteenths of this pay per view. There's 14 matches. There was a tournament, and nobody knew who the fuck these guys were in the tournament because they were all from different countries. It doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? So for basically more than half of the show, you're going to have no crowd reaction whatsoever. The Black Stinger was garbage. It didn't make any sense, the match. I really didn't give a fuck who the Black Stinger is because his wrestling style was garbage, and it did not make sense. I hated this pay-per-view. Bobby Eaton defeated the Z-Man in probably the most athletic contest of the night, which is pretty sad. Uh... Two and a half stars. It's probably the best match of the night. Honestly, yeah, it was. Uh, then we got a series of garbage tag matches. The Steiner Bros defeat Kowloon, D. Kirk, and Sergeant Krugers. Half a star. They're from all different countries. There's like Japan and like Soviet Union, Russia, uh, China. It's like. And, uh. It just didn't work. Half a star. Uh, Rey Mysterio Sr. and Conan. First star Rey Mysterio Sr. match I seen. And Conan defeat Chris um, Adams and Herman Smiley. Okay, before I get into this match, let me just say this. The Conan guy had so much back acne. It was making me gross out, and it was making me itch all over my body because it was giving me paranoid because it was so gross. I was like, Ugh. I couldn't even keep my sc my eyes on the screen. It was nasty. It looked like he had chicken pox all over his back. It was so gross. I would never wrestle with this guy. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm working with him? Uh, the acne boy over there? Yeah, nah, fuck no. <laughs> Give this match a star, Rey Mysterio and Conan win. The Great Mudo and Mr. Saito. The Great Muda, I mean, and Mr. Saito defeated the royal family. And this match was shit. I don't know. Another shit match, half a star. And we got Zargief and Hasamakal. I'm not going to be able to pronounce these names. Defeated Monitor and Bull Johnson. And first of all, there was too many damn tag team matches on the show. Half, more than half the show was tag matches. There's probably eight tag matches on the show. Like, enough with the tag. What is the deal with WCW and tag team matches? And oh, yeah, by the way, it's the first ever WCW Starcade. They changed it from NWA to WCW. Because they said uh, Sting was the first ever WCW champion. I give this match a quarter of a star. Nobody gave a fuck. Uh, Michael Wall Street which is fucking IRS, which you already know this match is going to be garbage because he's in a defeated Terry Taylor, star and a quarter. Then we got the skyscraper, Skyscrapers defeating Big Cat and City Modmar. This is City Modmar. This is this was like 30 seconds long. Dud. Uh, Tom, Tom, Tommy Rich and Ricky Morton defeated the Freebirds. Star and three quarter. Another shit match. Another shit match. The show was trash. Steiner Brothers defeated Rey Mysterio and Conan. Thank you. Get the acne boy out of there. This was so gross. Half a star. 
so many matches on the show. So many tag matches. It was ridiculous. I fell asleep. I really had to go to bed. This show was so bad. This show put me to sleep. Uh, Great Muda and Mr. Saito defeated Zangief and Has Hasikov. Kof, Hasikov. Hazemkov in the match half a star. Lex Luger defeated Stan Hansen in US title in a Lariat match. Decent, nothing special, two and a quarter, but this is like platinum on this show. Uh, four horsemen team doom end up in a no contest for the NWA tag team titles. I enjoyed the match, but they took flair out of the match. Which, of course, you got you get rid of your best person out of everybody. Which makes no sense because it was a, I think it was a kayfabe injury, so I don't get why they did that. Uh, and in the no contest, two and a half stars. M Mr. Saito and Great Muda got defeated by the Steiner brothers, and this end, this fucking ends the atrocious tournament, the worst tournament I've ever seen uh, in professional wrestling history, and this is for the international tag team titles. And Steiner Brothers win. Steiner Brothers, have I mentioned their garbage in the ring? Oh, I gave this two and three quarters out of five. Uh, best match of the night. The Great Muda, just, Great Muda pisses me off. He just take, wastes too many steps in the ring. Mr. Saito was garbage. Uh, Steiner Brothers looked like fucking Scott Steiner's wearing a thong in this match. It's, it, this was shitty. Like, under his tights, it looked like he was wearing a thong. This match gets... Two and three quarters out of five. Sting defeat the Black Scorpion. All right, this match was pissing me off because number one, it wasn't that bad, but it just kept pissing me off so much because the Black Scorpion was working on the head, but he's like he like it took him like thirteen minutes into the match to throw him in the Sting in the cage one time. You're working on the head, but you have the cage all around you, but you're doing submission holds. And this referee was pissing me off. I forgot his name. This is how f hard he was counting. Like, you could... This is how hard. You couldn't even see what he was counting. Like, nobody in the audience probably knew what he was doing. He was like... Like, every time there was a pin. What was he doing? Like, what the hell? This one was garbage. Sting got dominated by this jobber. I don't care who he is. I don't want to know who he is. Because whenever I see this guy and his real identity, I'm just going to fucking not watch it. But I'm going to have to put up with him throughout WCW, probably. Whatever. Sting wins, I guess. Two and a half stars out of five. Cage, this is a cage match. Whatever. It's for the WCW title. Here he gets a star. And WWE was wrong when they said Ric Flair main event in the first ten star cades. This paper gets a 1.75 out of 10. This is not an exaggeration. This is true. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace out.